Cloud9 has lost in finals many, many times, actually, if I think about it, uh, to many teams. But they do have three trophies anyways, and they won their trophy last year. So I'm definitely looking forward to, to tripling their trophy case in the next few years. Of any team in the lead with Blabber absolutely popping off. I think Blabber Blabber's performance currently is is some of the best that we have ever seen from him. So they're going to have to do something uh, to try and contain this jungle. Generally, you're going to want to get some winning solo lane matchups. Uh, TSM was in this exact situation where Lost didn't get to have any fun playing Misfortune against a Camille. There's some follow-up in the Leona. There's some follow-up in the Talia. There's follow-up even in the Kai's if it needs to be. Misfortune does not kite away easily. So Sven, I want to see how you can pilot it because player skill can sometimes make the difference. This is going to be a tough gank to make work, but looks like they're going to try. Starts the stacks going. Fudge going to find himself the stun. No, he won't. This is going to make that fight a lot harder, but can he bait out the hook shot? Huni not going to burn the cooldown just yet. Here comes the bear. Can he get in the way? The flash is going to block it. That was beautiful by Blabber, and he does it again. Cloud9 get first blood top lane. Where it's like, you could go Aftershock and, you know, survive Hebba Pulverize, but it's like, no, 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 I'm going for the move speed, and it's like, cool, you're squishy, let's go. Perks is out of mana, so PUE gets a pretty good hit. He's actually pretty close to killing. Rocket, ooh, that sidestep had to happen. It is one of the really underestimated ults in the game, because there's not a big visual to it. Here's the deep dive. Oh, Perks outplays Hooney. He's, he's just dead, right? Like, Perks is going to be pretty hurt as well. Perks is running, and it will be a trade back. He has to flash away. Careful, the flash combo Vulcan has arrived. Get him down. Two to one C9 in that fight. And Speak is waiting around as well, hoping they can catch the Moo Cow. All right, over the wall, Sword Art. He's got Speak in nearby, though. They're not going to go for the play. Yeah, okay. Obviously, great roam by Vulcan to be there for the mid lane play, but now 3v1 dive potential. They're going to find the stun, but it's level six Alistair. Ooh. You're diving a level six Alistair. Lost is ignited. He's dead. Goodbye. Vulcan is the kill leader of Cloud9. Sword Art has to jump away, and the KDAs keep plummeting on TSM. TSM in this game, they've lost so much control with uh, the failed dives that they have pulled <laughs> off. Uh, both in mid and around bottom now. That does use it, though, to try and sync it up uh, for the next one. Here's the deep dive. Huni all the way in. Perks immediately shoves him back. Perks also saved his flash from the last time with the uh, dodge on the big one, so he's able to flash the Q here. Uh, makes it so Power of Evil has to effective ganks. Uh, obviously, he was previously known for it on Olaf. Here's the combo on the loss. All right, it's going to force the ult out of Lost. Still some damage. Now Sorta has to walk away, and Eclipse is going to end, so he's going to act being squishy. Blabber's here, but so is Spica. Is there an outplay to be had? Flash doesn't need but does have blue smite. Got to slow down Sword Art. Puts stun back in. Recombos, but a double pulverize. Sets up the back line, and Sword Art will drop again. Now Vulcan is going to be the E-target as PoE and Huni show up. Fudge now going to join as well, but Huni will find that first kill. Turns back around. Fudge will not find the stun, and now PoE is here. This is a good fight for TSM. They're getting a lot done, but wow, somehow Huni gets killed anyway, and they don't get any more for it. Point when Majaz gets 10 stacks, you get move speed on it, and that is Udyr's number one stat. Ooh, that's a great ult. Great ult by Sword Art into the stun combo. No way out, and finally, an isolated kill picked up there on Sven. There, applies your passive uh, stacks for Kaisa to jump over with the Killer Instinct. Here's a review of the bottom side, though, and this is where um, TSM, they commit everything. This is this is going to be the comeback play for them. Double TP from both solo laners. They started channeling earlier. They get the kill on the Sven. Really nice Hextech ultimatum there from Huni to be able to uh, dodge out on the Counter-Strike stun, but also get the kill on the Misfortune. Fortunately for them, Perks and, and Fudge do also arrive to focus um, on, on picking up one of these uh, possible kills here. I would say get that next Corky package and go ham. Ooh, that's a slow. That's going to be enough, maybe. MFO over the top is going to disengage the so good by Sven to keep the team safe. Um, it's it's just too too strong already for Fudge hitting level 11. Blabber going in on Sword Art. Okay, flash away from Perks to not be comboed out. That is the summoner down. Sword Art manages to do a pretty good job out of that one. But now the package is here. PoE is in the back line and Perks is going to drop. TSM in the mid game found their aggressive plays and they have gotten kill after kill after kill. With PoE coming in with the Corky package is able to punish. Does Blabber actually make him flash? He does, and he, he goes for the dive. Fast. He's got Tiger, he's got Phoenix, and he's got the kill in his sights. <laughs> Nicely done, a solo kill for the jungler. Good job, Blabber. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I don't think I've seen a, a Speedo ever that I would uh, describe this. So to be cool. fair, 
they don't look like briefs. Like, they go down to mid-thigh. Where did the Herald go that TSM summoned? Because none of the turrets have dropped, but it's not the inventory anymore. Nice head, but Pulverize comes through in a PoE. Tries to cut away. It's not going to be nearly enough. Vulcan once again resumes his spot on the top of the scoreboard. Three kills in this game. All right, here we go. Vulcan's going to try to zone them away. He headbutts. He's going to look for the Pulverize. He doesn't get to speak in time, but there's still going to be this fight coming through for Blabber. He's able to pick it up, and they get the kill on the jungler as well. It's time to run away, but Vulcan's going to have a hard time living through this one. Hooney's going to find himself that kill, and now it's time to kite away. Stunned up by Blabber, going to kite out, though. Fudge, got to be careful. Puts in the dodge zone. Re-engage towards Sword Art, and they will find that kill. Two kills in so far. Going to back for one, but they're looking for a bit more. Lost his safe in the back line, but he's got to run away. He's got one HP left. He is still cutting away. He's burning a little bit. Fudge. Wants to reach him, cannot quite do it, but now PUE stuck under the turret has to run away as well. Who in nearby is a bodyguard. Fudge basically kills him with Q auto. Flash for PUE, flash to follow. Ult comes in for Hooney. That should guarantee a kill, but it will be traded back. A huge battle for Cloud9. Four to two, I believe, the overall damage plus Baron on top. Yeah, and that means too, them going for the dive and trading kills is actually beneficial to the team with Baron. But 30 seconds is enough for him to get close enough to the dragon for Cloud9 to threaten that fight since they have such an advantage. Here's another look at it. As you said, Vulcan wasn't able to combo speak and keep him out of the pit, so he got in there for an attempt uh, at a smite steal, but uh, Blab Steady Hands is able to land the smite and secure it, and now... Oh, Blabber. Sword Art, good play in the front, stuns the front line, kites as much as he can, tries to disengage PUE with a package, gonna completely delay them. You can't walk through this. You have to wait, you have to wait, you have to wait. And that means Vulcan's alone. Vulcan's stuck so much, has to burn the ulti. He will still burn down though, has to run away, slowed yet again, one more auto, there's loss on a rampage. The re-engage could be good though, Speak is at a 400 HP, and now Hooney's pretty far up as well. Nice, disengaged so far, TSM. They are 5v4, but against Baron. Cloud9 still want to fight. They're stuck what here. The when do they go back <laughs> in? Blabber finds the front line, looks for Huni. Good damage there. Ult comes across. Fudge already killed off Spika. He's in the back line, but now he's done back up. Two kills picked up so far. The Ooh. huge shuffle comes through for Perks, and that is the Bud Light Ace for Cloud9. Okay, so. Starts early. Turbo Chem Tank, Freak. Great yep. addition for Udyr. Gets the rush it. Speed right in here for Blabber. And I was kind of hoping, you know, the, the package was going to make the series more competitive. It does delay as you're talking about the rest of the team. Full stop sign up there for Cloud9 members as Vulcan actually commits to the engage, but he's all alone since no one can walk over the red carpet. TSM, though, sustained quite significant damage, and they've got nothing left for this fight. Uh, you see Cloud9 taking their time. They walk around, sectioning off the TSM members, cut inside this alcove, uh, and they then send Blabber in first, tankiest member, Fudge then follows, allowing, you see, Perks and Sven to just fire away from the backside. The it's not a sieve down there. Okay, Sword Art's gonna find Blabber yet again. Big stun combo comes across, gonna save the ulti. Doesn't have it, actually, that's why. And look at the damage up. Puts, puts loss at like two-thirds. Here comes MF over the top. Gale forces in and puts the ulti down. Vulcan's here. Lost tries to kite away. He's gonna get deleted by Misfortune. Stun's not gonna find a kill either. Power of Evil now has to run. Vulcan can't Ooh. find the flash. Yet. Spika has the time to put on the emote mid-fight, but Vulcan's still burning. Is Vulcan dead? Yes. A kill goes through to Huni. Good Ignite comes across. Nice stopwatch. Buy some time for Spika. Fudge a bit low, but there's a bear right on top, and a triple kill comes through for Zen. Maybe a Void Seeker possible steal? Something crazy. Huni Q. It's Cho'Gath ult, right? Just like just 7,000 damage. Oh, he didn't get it. Weird. Um, <laughs> expect the situation there. Baron picked up no problem. I believe all five have the buff. As Vulcan's already respawned. TSM maybe look for the desperation play, but they are outnumbered. This can't be a good fight. There is no way this is going to work, but they're going to try. Package. Sword Art has to flash away. Blabber gets a bit low. Package is nice. It's one for zero so far. Huni gets shuffled right back in. There's two, there's three, and PoE is left alone. And the entire time, Spika was never going to be in that fight. They opted into a 4v5 while down in gold. I understand the desperation. They wanted yeah. a drop in the bucket, but the whole thing was kicked over. And it's time for Cloud9 to end the game. All right, Blabber's going to lead the charge then. The most move speed on the squad means he gets to be the first one. At the oh, next Spika. turn, he's looking for Spika. Oh. Tiger, Phoenix. He's running as fast as he can. He's got 10 stacks of the Dark Seal. He's Sadly, no Majize. If he had Majize, he'd have more move speed and more AP, Ooh. and he might have won the fight. You know, if he had just built Majize and sold the Bramble Vest, maybe that was a kill. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to say, count it for Cloud9. Next is third, number one under fire, and number two short to follow. That one's going to drop here. Nice little shove onto Fudge, but that's going to be another sub-31. Nice by Vulcan. Pushes back Sword Art. Stun's going to land on the Blabber, but it's not going to be enough. The Nexus will fall, and Cloud9 will smash TSM.